it was around 2014, 2015, I decided to set up an agency. My main focus was designing websites and a bit of branding. So this business was doing really well. So I focused more of my energy on getting customers. I joined the Chamber of Commerce. I was doing local marketing. I even went to business shows. So that meant that a lot of uh, businesses were interested in our services. So very quickly, I realized that as the jobs were coming in, it was becoming more and more difficult to complete these jobs. At the time, I was using a theme called Headway, which was at the time very, very good. I mean, it was highly customizable. You could design you know, so many customizable uh, parts of your website. But it meant that every single website had to be designed from scratch. So as you can imagine, um, you're getting, let's say, three, four jobs a week, and these have to be hand-coded. It was very, very difficult. So I decided to um, employ uh, someone to help me with the design work. That worked really well for a bit until we started getting all these revisions and changes that needed to be done to these websites. At that time, I had more than 30 websites I was working on. So that was the biggest challenge that I had at the time uh, on that stage in this journey. So I decided to jump ship and start using DV. At that time, DV was in uh, DV 3.0, which um, was at the time really, really good as well because it was very easy to use. It was very uh, well structured. There was less clicking when it came to designing websites. So we pushed on. We, we continued designing websites with DV. But still, something was missing because every website had to be designed from scratch. So as time went on and I was getting more and more work, I mean, I really, get, I mean, I really got very frustrated. I got burnt out and I decided just to, you know, shut down the whole business because I could not manage mentally. And also, I was falling behind on uh, rent uh, at the studio. I was falling behind on paying um, uh, the guy I was working with. So it became a very, very big problem. So when we take a look at how much I was uh, charging per website, it was averaging about 1,200 to 1,500 pounds. But of course, I'm not blaming this on just the page builders alone. It's also um, probably my approach to business as well that was probably lacking. But when I look back, I think about 70% of why it failed is because I could not design these websites on time because there were not really enough tools to help me streamline this process. So I just gave up and I just started learning how to use DV and I was teaching online. As you know, of course, if you are a subscriber to this channel, uh, you're probably here because uh, you saw my tutorials on how to design websites with DV and to me testing you know, several tools. So I did that for quite a bit and there came a point when I got burnt out with these videos and I started really thinking about what I could do to make money. And I know that my passion is with design. That's what I went to university for. You know, I love visual communication. I love design. So I was really scared to go back into design because there was no really a system, like I mentioned, that allows me or that allowed me to streamline these websites. So as I was doing a little bit of research here and there, I came across Bricks Builder. And Bricks Builder now promises on a new slick UI interface and you can really customize your websites. It is fantastic. I mean, I love it. I love it. I love it. So I'm pretty sure you guys uh, heard my announcement that I was going back into designing websites. I think I made the announcement a few months ago. Now, when I made that announcement, I was really getting excited again about designing websites. But the trouble is, that system of helping me design these websites fast was not really polished. It wasn't really there yet. So I got on two jobs, which I got paid about 3000 for the first one and 2000 for the second one. I mean, really, you know, really good jobs. But for these jobs, I decided to use Bricks Builder. But... Things were really difficult with, with the Bricks Builder, not because um, it was, I mean, it's a very difficult um, 
page builder is because I had to learn things on the go while I was building the website. So it was very, very stressful. I even bought um, automatic CSS so I could have a framework. And then at that point, I started realizing that, oh my goodness. So if you use a framework, you can pretty much half the time that you're designing your websites because majority of the tools that you use, all the sizes and all the um, spacing, scaling, it's all done for you. All the typography done for you, fluid, everything. So I thought to myself, if we have something like this for Divi, surely it's a platform that I've been using for a very, very long time, over 10, I mean, in fact, over 12 years, I think, that I've been using it. It is a platform which has pretty much all the tools that I need. It has DV Teams, it has Cloud, where I can store all my layouts, you know, where if you look at um, Bricks Builder, they don't have that system. So really, if you look at Divi, it is engineered towards freelancers and design agencies. But the missing part was a framework because you can imagine every time I want to build a website, I have to start from scratch. That idea just gives me, just gives me a headache. You know, every single website you have to start, you're starting from configuring the fonts, you're going into uh, setting all the spacing. I mean, pretty much every single thing, even something as basic as setting your homepage, you know, you, you have to do it on each and every website. So with this passion of wanting to go back into starting an agency, I started thinking of ways to really make the whole process of designing websites using TV much, much easier and even more streamlined. So that is when I started playing around with ZipWP because with ZipWP, it's a platform where you can just spin off websites super fast. I mean, you can just go in there, set up a WordPress website and then create a blueprint. I think I've done a video about um, how to create a blueprint. That is one of the quickest ways you can get up and running super fast. So that solved about 30% of the problem because even in the blueprint, it meant that I still had to go in and set the text sizes. I mean, the font sizes, I still had to set the spacing and you know, everything was pretty much everywhere. And then came the idea of building a framework for Divi. And this is how SiteCrafter was born. So with SiteCrafter now, everything is pretty, or not everything, but I'd say majority of everything you need for you to start designing websites is pre-done for you. I'll even go as far as saying 80% is done. So as we speak right now, I am actually working on improving SiteCrafter because before it was working on DV4. And for those of you who have tried DV5, I'm sure you can see that there's a massive difference. I mean, the, the workflow is totally different. The websites are fast and it's, it's really a joy to work on because it's a new interface. So I didn't want to continue uh, designing websites on um, DV4. So I just dove into the deep end and I started designing I think it was even at alpha, I mean, the early alphas of DV5. I set up DV University, which is the site um, that is running our community at the moment. It's running on DV5. Sitecrafter.com is running on DV5. So I've been perfecting how it's working. I mean, there are some areas where I still see that they need a bit of polishing here and there. But at the same time, I also acknowledge that there's a lot of work being done behind the scenes. Anyway, I digress. So we were okay with DV4 on that framework. And as we were designing websites using this framework, I realized that, you know, it wasn't really packaged, I mean, properly because, you know, when I update the code here, I have to go somewhere else, <laughs> you know, to paste the code. And then if you want to use it on DV5, you first have to upgrade the website. It was just very confusing. And this was echoed as well in the uh, community where a lot of, um, or I'd rather say some of the community members were expressing this. So just a few days ago, I released the child theme and this child theme has the framework. 
So this makes this very exciting now because with a child theme, it is now very, very easy to update. It's very easy to just go in, change the code, update the code and, you know, distribute, uh, redistribute the, um, the child theme, which is fantastic. So as I mentioned, I really like using DV5. So as we speak, the framework for DV5 is, uh, is there, but what about things like the footers, the headers, the 404 page, the search results page, uh, you know, the, 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 um, the page that controls the colors, the style guide. I mean, what about those elements? Because these are the sort of things that you also need to go in and customize as you're building your website. And these things can be, these things can be very annoying and, and very frustrating if you, you have to build a build a uh, footer and a header. Uh, every single time. Now, personally, I don't know about you, but I prefer to build my websites without really going into these um, starter sites, done for you websites, because eventually I have to go back in and move and delete a lot of uh, sections anyway. So I'd rather just design from scratch myself. So I thought about putting together a starter site that has all these three areas all in place now the starter site is exciting because it has the framework it has the footer it has the headers the 404 page the search results page the blog page and the blog template which means that you are cutting off about 80 percent of the work so when you go in, you know, you, you don't have to go in and change your fonts. You don't have your font sizes because everything is fluid and everything is responsive. So that alone has saved you time. Secondly, you have your spacing that is also fluid. So you don't have to spend so much time on um, adding spacing between elements. All that is done for you. So this has really brought back the excitement of designing websites again so as a freelancer as someone who wants to go into designing um as you can see it's very easy to tell how my design agency failed it's because each and every project had to be started from scratch which means i was wasting a lot of time customizing each and every website all the time because as you know a lot of the websites uh, out there, they really follow the same sort of uh, layouts. They're just different in the sense that, you know, the colors, maybe the images used are totally different. But majority of the time, I mean, I would say the sections or the hero sections on the website are pretty much the same, you know, or very similar. So that is where majority of the time was being wasted. But... With this framework now and the starter site, I'm beginning to really get excited again about designing websites for clients. So very soon, if you see me announcing that I'm uh, designing websites and I'm starting to work with uh, small businesses, this is the main reason. I built SiteCrafter to make things easy for me. And knowing what I went through, I know that SiteCrafter could also help you uh, design websites faster if you're a freelancer or you want to design your own website or even if you want to set up a design agency definitely it will save you a lot of time you'll also have websites that look consistent because all your websites will have fluid typography they will have proper spacing which is mathematically calculated and the structures of the websites will be easy to maintain because even if you get someone new working on your projects, there is one place that they need to go and make these changes, which makes the whole design process very, very easy to manage and very, very easy to maintain. Because the last thing you want is when someone comes to take a look at a website or this is someone new, they have to go into each and every setting <laughs> to make the changes. That increases the learning curve for the new person who has joined the team. Anyway, I'll be posting a lot of things uh, in this video. Now, I also released, as I mentioned, uh, SideCrafter as a, as a child theme. I will leave a link to that video 
uh, somewhere on the screen or in the video description below. Sidecrafter is going on sale and whoever purchases Sidecrafter, it's at 40% discount. Now this 40% discount is stretching uh, to also give you access to Divi University. This is going to be a paid platform right now. It's open. It's going to be a paid platform because there are going to be so many resources on there, uh, especially when DV5 um, gets released. I'll be doing a lot of uh, videos. I'll be doing a lot of courses. We'll be sharing a lot of snippets, you know, so many things. So just by buying Sidecrafter, you are the early adopter. So, or early founders, you are going to have access to Div University lifetime membership, which means every single product that I um, create, you will have access to it, access to it absolutely free. And I'm looking forward to creating so many things around WooCommerce, around um, funnels, around booking websites, and so on. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments box below. What were your struggles? What were your challenges when it came to uh, setting up your design agencies? Uh, perhaps you, you didn't shut down shop like what I did. So what have you done or what are you doing to make your design process much, much easier? Please do share your views or your comments in the comments box below. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.